we're letting it be known what's going on with divine insight hashtag free Rashad Jamal so me and a group of other gods and goddesses we did go to court we were actually there and so we were there in the hearing and whatnot and we were able to see everything happen we saw Rashad come out from the back room they did have him in handcuffs he was able to sit by his lawyer and the security guards and whatnot they're on the side like a regular court situation and so you know um, the way that court went it was pretty normal as far as the sequence and how things were processing and different things like that who they brought to the stand they brought his wife to the stand of course and his mom since they were within the situation and so they they did get to speak about from their perspective the main situation that we're dealing with is the fact that he did not get bail or bond um his wife requested a 15 that was what the first request was they denied that and then the lawyer requested fifty thousand dollars they denied that as well they were basically saying you know He's a flight risk using his past against him even though charges were dropped and you know cases were had all that in the past was supposed to be in the past they brought that those situations back up and they also use you know his platform against him in a sense saying that he may be a flight risk saying that he portrays this particular image saying that he wouldn't abide by you know certain situations if he was put under their circum certain circumstances and whatnot so they use certain things against them you know how people do they take video clips and they play them and they don't provide all context it was that sort of situation and they even used the video that his wife and i did on instagram when she was explaining the situation in the first place they used that video in court as well and so you know they didn't keep the fact that the case was about child molestation that was the unfair part about it there was no real mention of the child molestation part of the case which was the whole reason we're in court in the first place most things were about him his following his platform and the information he teaches versus the actual crime that they're accusing him of allegedly and whatnot <clears throat> and so yeah that's that's really the biggest thing he's being held without bail or bond so we're waiting for um <clears throat> okay so we're waiting to see when the next court date is going to be they're saying it's going to be a speedy trial different things like that so always keep your vi vibrations high when continuing to think about this situation continue to send his family as much love and support as possible um We'll definitely keep you updated as long as we're able to speak on certain things. We really, you know, have to keep certain things off of the Internet now at this point. So I would hope that that encourages you all who do truly support Rashad to go ahead and make your um, account on the UCI website and different things like that to stay connected with the community and stuff like that off of mainstream social media because you already know what's up. But yeah, um, I think I think that's it pretty much um they they are not you know doing him well within you know his situation he's supposed to get like three breaks a day and have a certain amount of time he's not getting all of his time and he's not getting all of his breaks properly with like phone calls and different things like that previously they did have him in um protective custody when it's not necessary you know certain certain things on, in that aspect that are just not right while he is in holding so you know that um that is something that they wanted to be let known and so yeah uh, much love and appreciation to everybody who did show up to court and those who were there with us in spirit and um those who are ready to fight behind the situation so like you know if you really would like to um help out more uh definitely reach out to any um, organizations that do help with situations like this where it's you know our people neuromelanated carbonated individuals who do need assistance in these areas there you know there's someone doing a great thing for our people and it's the same storyline every single time so if anyone wants to, re wants to reach out to any you know attorneys or groups who help with cases like these definitely reach out 
to them and let them know about what's going on with Rashad Jamal. So yeah, peace to the gods and goddesses. Thank you all so much. I will see you in the next one. Da -da.